Does an extra large burn any more charcoal than a large does? Let's find out. Welcome back to another episode of The Fogo Life. I am your host, Captain Ron, our resident expert. So, we've been asking you, let us know what you want to see. Let us know what questions you have. What would you like to see us cover? One of the biggest things that we see coming in about questions is, which one burns more charcoal, an extra large or a large? We want to know. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill them up with the same amount. We're going to weigh it out, same amount of charcoal in the extra large, same amount in the large. We're going to fill them up. We're going to light in the same way. We're going to cook a small little pork butt in each one, and we're going to see after the pork butts are done, which one burned more charcoal. We're going to weigh it out just so we know for sure. We want to make sure we're doing everything the right way. So I've got my scale here, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to take our scale. We're going to set this here disposable aluminum pan on here. We're going to weigh out five pounds of premium charcoal. We're going to fill up the XL with five pounds. Then we're going to weigh another five pounds of premium charcoal. And fill up the large with five pounds. We're going to light them both the same way. We're going to use a blaze of ball and we're going to get them going and see which one will cook a pork butt and which one's going to use more charcoal in the end. We are getting there. We're all set. So we've got two different bins with five pounds in it each. What we did is we went through and we tried to make sure everything was the same size in bowls. So we have similar size chunks. We didn't want one to have all small pieces. The other one have big pieces. We took them out of the same bag so nobody can say, hey, that bag performed better than that bag. Nope, out of the same bag, same size chunks, same exact weights. We're gonna fill these babies up now and we're gonna get these babies lit. So what we're starting with here is a nice, fresh, cleaned out egg. All right, no ashes in the bottom. And we're gonna use the BGE Big Green Egg Charcoal Basket in here, each one. And we're gonna do the same thing in the large. You can see, nice and cleaned out, no ashes. Nice and pretty, woo, look at that. So we're gonna put our Big Green Egg Charcoal Basket in here. We're gonna start with our Fogo starters. We're gonna put two into each of these blazer balls side by side so you can see everything is equal here. They say that fire is built into our DNA and is part of our necessary things that we need for living. So I find it to be very therapeutic, but you just have to be careful because it gets really hot. Now what we wanna do is we're gonna make a pile in the center here. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cover it all up with our charcoal, make one big pile so that we make sure it's burning nice and evenly, the same way we did in the XL. All right, we are like Arby's, baby. We have the meats. So what I've got here is two little pork butts. They're each right at four pounds. They're tiny little suckers, so they won't take long. This, this experiment today is not about the cook, but while I got the Fogo lit, I'm gonna take advantage. So we're gonna make two little pork butts, one on each one, again, just so that this experiment has the same constants all through. We wanna make sure everything is as equal as can be on each egg. I'm really curious to know, is the XL gonna use more charcoal? Is the large gonna use more charcoal? Who knows? Let's find out. And now through the miracle of modern technology, we are now 18 minutes later and both eggs are at 275 degrees. So we're gonna put our pork butts on there. We're just gonna let them roll. We're gonna cook everything at 275. This way, everything is the same on both eggs. Hey, do me a favor. Right now, before we find out, tell me in the comments, which one do you think is gonna burn more charcoal? Do you think the XL will burn more? Do you think the large will burn more? I'm curious. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments, all right? We're gonna use our meter wireless thermometer to monitor our temperatures this whole entire time. So we're gonna put one in each so that we know exactly where they're at. We are now four hours in. Now, I wanna be straight up with you. A couple things we did. Um, we wanted these things to cook a little bit longer and it was taking forever. So what I did is I bumped up the temperature on each of these to 300 and they hit like this. They went up right at the exact same time. So I'm not worried about that. So uh, just for consistency sake, we wanted to make sure we had the same temperatures going. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shut it down, all right? My, my pork has reached 185 internal temperature, which is perfect. I'm not gonna pull it. What I wanted, I wanted to do sliced pork for sandwiches. So these things are realistically done. So let's take these things off and shut them down. We're gonna let the charcoal cool off for a little while. Then we're gonna pour it back into those pans that we had, remember those pans? We're gonna pour it back into those pans onto the scale and we're gonna see which one used more charcoal by weight. It's the only way we really can measure it. So. Okay, our first one is out of the XL. It's still a little bit hot, so we have to be a little careful here. Try not to make too much of a mess. There we go. Our charcoal out of the XL went from five pounds of charcoal down to two pounds, 10.2 ounces. So we're gonna put this to the side now, grab the charcoal out of the large, and let's see where that is. Two pounds, 10.2 ounces.
And this is kind of interesting. So the charcoal out of the large, and I like to just say that the blaze of balls in here, I left it in on both of them, okay? But we got two pounds, 14.5 ounces. So really only burned about maybe four ounces difference over a four hour period. Not a gigantic substantial difference, but the XL did use a little bit more charcoal than what the large used, not by a lot, okay? They both held the same exact temperatures. We did a really good job maintaining the temperatures at an even pace. So I was very happy with that. There's not much that could have gone wrong here. Everything really stayed consistent between the two eggs. I was really proud. They, they came to temperature at the same time. The charcoal heated up at the same time. Everything was the same. We cooked the same exact protein on it. We did everything identically. And the XL only used four ounces more charcoal. So if anybody's telling you, oh, the XL, it uses so much more charcoal, it might use a touch more. But according to this, not a whole lot. I think that's pretty cool. I hope that you got some good information out of this. This was a fun one for me. I enjoy doing this because I've always actually been kind of curious. I've never tested it myself. I would have bet that the XL was going to use a lot more. I thought that this was going to have probably another pound in it. I'm really surprised that it didn't. So a four ounce difference, I wouldn't say that's enough to make a difference. So if you need the room, get yourself an XL. If you don't need it, get the large. You're going to burn about the same amount of charcoal. That Fogo burned beautifully in here. Nice and even, nice and consistent. Um, I hope that you'll enjoy this. Hope you got some good information out of it. Leave me a comment below. Do me a favor. If you like what you saw, hit subscribe. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything in the future. Until then, okay, until then, remember to get out and grill. And I'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.